spite of our tears, in spite of our grief, in spite of our mourning, God has been good to us. And I believe a praise is appropriate right now. Hallelujah. Can we give God praise? Amen. Because God is truly there, right there by our side. Amen. I'd ask for all except the family to please stand as we listen and let the song, There is a Fountain Filled with Blood, minister to our heart, soul, and spirits. If you're not able to stand, please stand in spirit.
Praise the Lord and all his heavenly hosts, you his servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Good morning, family and friends. I'm truly honored to be standing before you as we celebrate our grandmother's life. Today I will be reading two passages from the New Testament, one coming from the book of John, chapter 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the light. No one comes to the Father except through me. The second passage will come through the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15. I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed. In a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has not been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, <coughs> stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labors in the Lord is not in vain. Amen. Amen. Holy Scriptures that provide comfort and consolation to our hearts and our souls. I would now ask again if you would please stand except the family as we affirm our faith with the Apostles' Creed. <coughs> I believe in God the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. You may take your seats as we prepare our hearts for our prayer of comfort as Minister Cedric Wright comes forth. Amen. Amen. Gracious God, our Father, my Father, our Father. Father, we've come to lift you up today, God, yes. and to bless your holy name, God. Yes. We lift you above this circumstance. We lift you above this situation, God. We even lift you above our feelings in this time, God, yes. because we know who you are, God. Yes. And we thank you, Lord, that you have gone before us to prepare a place, God. We thank you, Lord, that there are promises that you have made to us that extend beyond the mortal coil of this life, God. And so we're here to bless your name and to lift you up today, God, to give you the honor and the praise because, Father, you are worthy, God. You are worthy in all times, in all things, in all places. God, you are great. And so we bless you on today, God. And we thank you, Lord, that you've given us life, health, and strength, God, and the measure of faith to come before you with boldness and confidence.
confidence on today to thank you for all that you have done and will do, God. And so, Father, in particular, on today, we thank you for your friend and servant, Helen C. Jones, God. We thank you, Lord, for the love that you placed in her and that she, that she shed abroad to all of us, God. We thank you, Lord, for how she showed us how to love, God. She showed us how to love as you love, God. So we thank you for the love of our mother, our grandmother, our sister, our aunt, our friend, our companion, God, on today, God. And we thank you, Lord, that the race is done and the victory is won, and that she's with you, God. And Father, she even now rejoices amidst the heavenly host with a celestial body, free from pain, free from ailment free from disease and discomfort, free from the bonds of this life, God. So we rejoice on today, God. We've come not with a sound of mourning, but with rejoicing on today, God, because you have said in your word that you prepared a place for each and every one of us who loved you, God. You love each and every one of us whom you made and love you and are called according to your purpose, God. So on today, God, we give you the glory even in this, God. And though our hearts may be heavy, God, we look to the hills from which our help comes on today, God. And our hope and our dependence and our faith is in you, God. So, Father, comfort us in this time, God, as we, even in this place and as we go from this place, God. Oh, God, when we feel the emptiness of the room, God, when we aren't able to place a phone call to our loved one, Father God, when we remembering the fond times and the bad times and the good times and the in-between times, God, let that void be filled by your love, God. Let that love be filled by, let that void be filled by you, God. And we just pray that your spirit would overflow in each and every one of us on today and tomorrow and the years to come unto eternity, God. So, Father, we're thankful on today, God, that you've given us the ability, Lord, to come here and bless you in the name of your holiness. And as we remember our friend and our sister, as we remember Helen C. Jones, we give you the glory, God, that she's with you now and forever. And all those that love you, God, all those that serve you, and profess your name, God, will see her and you in the fullness of time and your glory. So we bless you now and we give you the honor for all times. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All to God be the glory. It's all right to pray for you. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the wonderful name of the Lord.
Lord. Amen. 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 We now have reflections. Reflections of this wonderful soul, this wonderful saint. As I call for first, Mrs. Laverne Williford. There's a sweet, weak spirit. Yes, yes. In this place. Yes. 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 And I believe it's the spirit of Helen Bernice Cole Jones. Yes, yes. yes. <clears throat> when a person is kind without expecting anything in return, that is an act of sweetness. A sweet spirit is pure, humble, self-sacrificing, giving, charitable, decent, and honorable. Jesus had a sweet spirit about him yes. that attracted people to him. Yes. Helen Jones attracted all kinds of people. Amen. The young and the old, the imprisoned and the downtrodden, yes. the loving and the unlovable, the unsteady, and the unsure. Mrs. Jones was a sweet spirit. Yes. The more we grow in Christ, the more his attitude should be seen in us. Say that. Christians should not be mean-spirited, quick-tempered, critical people. We ought to be developing a sweet spirit inside us that makes us easy to be around. Uh -huh. Never knew her to criticize or complain. Mrs. Jones was an enjoyable person to be around. We looked forward to talking on the phone, and the occasional visit only heightened our joy and delight. When I think of Helen Jones, a smile just spreads across my face. Helen Jones reminds me of meaningful Bible verses, silly nursery rhymes, lovely poetry, and funny expressions. What are little girls made of? Sugar and spice and all things nice. That's what she was made of. Pretty is as pretty does. Pretty is a pet is pleasant to look at and to listen to. The expression means that good character and behavior are more important than good looks. Yeah. Helen Jones had good looks, <laughs> and she was pretty. <laughs> more importantly, she was kind and loving, always nice to others. Having her in our lives made our lives better. Maya Angelou wrote, Old Folks Laugh. When old folks laugh, they free the world. They turn slowly, slyly, knowing the best and worst of remembering. Their laps are filled with memories. When old folks laugh, they consider the promise of dear painless death and generously forgive life for happening to them. Mrs. Jones was quick to smile, and she loved to laugh. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. My wish is that Mrs. Helen Jones have many sweet dreams while resting in the arms of sweet Jesus. Yeah. Our queen, mother, and friend, farewell. We pray your sweet, sweet spirit lives on. Amen. 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 We now call forth her sister, Mrs. Doris Cole Schaffner. giving honor to God and glory. The ministry 
of the celebration. Family, dear friends, all of you, thank you for being here. My husband and both are from Greensboro, but we moved to Nebraska over 50 years ago. I just miss talking to my sister. But if you never had a sister, you don't know what you've missed. I'll tell you just a little bit about our upbringing. She just didn't become sweet a few years ago. She has been sweet all her life. Amen. There were 10 of us originally. And when my father passed, she was 16 and I was five. And she was the oldest of six at home. My brother under her was a tape charger, because he's with my father now. She was a tape care. She took care of us. She had us to do things in a kind, gentle way. My brother said, you go to the spring and get a bucket of water. <laughs> she said, well, we don't need any more water right now. And of course, we would do what she said to me. My mother was working, and she and my brother took care of the four of us at home. And when she grew up, she thought she wanted to go, to leave home. She fell in love with a man, handsome man in the army, Mr. Bruce H. Jones. Amen. She wanted to go, but she, and she got married. And she went to Winston Salem. Well, Winston Salem wasn't all it was cut out to be at that time. She didn't like Winston too much, she liked home. She was accustomed to being with family, loving family, helping my mom cook dinner, scrub the floor, showing her love every day, not demanding, but asking. And when she went to Weston, Luther and Helen would come back home on the weekend. So Helen bring her bag. <laughs> Winston on Sunday night, she would stay until usually Wednesday. He would come back and get her. And while she was there, we would put coffee in a pot and with some water and put it on the wood stove. And we'd skip around all morning and drink coffee. <laughs> we weren't getting anything, any work done. So one day my mom said, where is Helen going home? <laughs> and one other little thing, she was kind of sickly. My mother said, she just needs to have a child. <laughs> And then came along Sandra. And then Lazar. Her sick days were over. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she was very protective of her children. She loved her family. She loved everybody. She shared love all of her life. And that's why you have embraced her. And she has embraced you. And you are family to her and to us. And we're all God's children. Thank you so much for your warm southern hospitality. I miss that. <laughs> We're going to have to go home and give them some yogurt. <laughs> I tell you, you have blessed us with beautiful flowers and food and pies and cakes. Don't, <laughs> don't bring anything else. <laughs> but thank you so much for being here today and showing your love for our beloved sister. God bless you in heaven and travel. Amen. Before the next selection, I'd like to read a resolution from Sister Helen, Miss Helen's Raleigh's Crossroads United Methodist Church. As Miss Helen Bernice Jones departed this life on Thursday, June the 17th, 2021, this is the 22nd day of June, and the pastor, officers, and members of Raleigh's Crossroads respectfully submit the following. Resolution. Whereas the pastor, officers, and members of Raleigh's Crossroads have suffered a great loss in the home going of Helen Bernice Cole Jones, a member loved and respected by all, whereas the pastor, officers, and members of Raleigh's Crossroads United Methodist Church wish to place on record our sincere love and appreciation for her devotion and her faithfulness. Whereas Helen Bernice Cole Jones, affectionately known as Mother Jones and Miss Helen 
Join Riley's Crossroads on April 30th, 2006. She supported her church with her presence, her prayers, her gifts, and her talents. She served the church in the following capacities. She was a member of the United Methodist Women Health and Welfare Organization and Ministry, the Nurture Ministry, and the beloved Opal's Ministry. Miss Helen remained active as long as her health permitted. We thank God for our precious memories and for the love, the loyalty that she had for our church as well as the love we had for her. Therefore, be it resolved that her participation and her presence will be sorely missed. To Sandra, Luther, family members and friends, we extend our deepest sympathy. The Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. To each of you, cast your sorrow upon the Lord. He will not let you go it alone. Resolve it further that a copy of this resolution be given to the family and a copy placed in our church files. Be it resolved that the name Helen Bernice Cole Jones be deleted from the roll of Raleigh's Crossroads United Methodist Church and placed in God's will and be added to the Lamb's Book of Life. So it is. So it is written. Respectfully submitted, Reverend Tammy Ingram, the officers and members of Raleigh's Crossroads United Methodist Church. One of her favorite songs is Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. Anybody believe that? To
He will make a way. He will open doors. We can stand on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, our Savior. Hallelujah. We can trust God and stand on him like Miss Helen did. Let us look around and see as we stand on these promises that we are blessed. We're blessed when we keep the faith. We're blessed when we go through every trial and tribulation. This is what Sister Helen did, and it's the example that she gave for us. When she lost loved ones, she held on to God. When she suffered sickness and didn't quite understand, she held on to God's unchanging hand. When the road was rough, she held on to God. When she experienced ups and downs, she held on to God. God was her constant and her faith didn't waver. She knew God could be trusted. And I believe that she lived this life to prepare for her life in glory. She held to the promise conveyed by John the Revelator 4 in Revelations 14, 13. Again, it reads, write this down. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Sisters and brothers, this word blessed means happy. So in essence, John is saying the truth is, is if we live for God, we can be happy when death comes. I want to say it again. A lot of people don't believe it. Amen. We don't want to say amen. I knew it was going to get quiet. But when we live for the Lord, we're going to be blessed. This notion of being happy when you die is countercultural. A lot of folk ain't ready to die. Think you're going to live forever. I got news for you. You're not. You're going to go the same way Sister Helen does. But only when we live for the Lord will we be blessed. Sisters and brothers, those who die in the Lord don't have to worry anymore. Those who die in the Lord don't have to suffer anymore. When they die in the Lord, they don't have to cry anymore. They have a new walk and have a new talk. And the songwriter said they got a new home. And, and the best thing about it, they get to see Jesus face to face. And I believe they're happy because they know when they sit at his feet, He's going to make everything all right. Think about it. And this only happens when you live for the Lord. For this reason today we ought not be sorrowful. As been said in the scriptures and, and spoken in the prayer. We not, ought not be sorrowful as those who have no hope concerning this Helen. Instead we should be glad. That the Holy Ghost agrees with God the Father and Jesus the Son. The Spirit says yes, that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. Sisters and brothers, Sister Helen was blessed and she's happy. Even right now, God fulfilled his promise. He promised never to leave nor forsake. He promised to prepare a place. He promised to prepare a mansion. He promised to come back and take us with him. Brothers and sisters, God keeps his promises. And he brought them to pass last Thursday evening. That's when Helen entered into the rest of the Lord on June 17, 2021. She took off that which was mortal. Put on immortality. She took off sickness. Put on health. Took off sorrow. Put on joy. Put on victory. Last Thursday, Miss Helen left this world behind and entered into that prepared place. Brothers and sisters, this day, she is blessed and at rest. She's worshiping in the presence of Jesus. She doesn't have to sing that song, Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. She can say it to him at his feet, because that's where she's sitting. She's going where the wicked will cease from troubling, and the weary will be at rest. She's gone where every day will be Sunday. She's gone. And she's blessed. Sisters and brothers, we too can be blessed. But in order to be blessed now, we've got to live and abide in the Lord. We can start today by giving ourselves to God. God can handle anything that we've done. God, the, the songwriter, contemporary songwriter talks about he can reach way down and pick us up no matter where you go, no matter what you've done, no matter what you thought. God wants everything. He wants our heart, our soul, our minds, and our strength. God wants it all. Yeah. We can give God our all today by loving him with our whole heart. 
We can move towards being blessed by exchanging our burdens for God's mercy, by exchanging our troubles for God's grace. And I've got good news today. It's a good day to lay aside your burdens. It's a good day to lay aside that weight that so easily besets us. It's a good day to cast your cares on God for he careth for you. It's a good day to do God's will. It's a good day to walk in God's way. It's a good day because God is coming back for each and every one of us. The same God that came and took his daughter home is coming back for us. So let us get ready to receive the promises of God so that we will find ourselves blessed as well. Let us follow this saint's example of love and commitment and faith and service so that at our own journey's end, we can declare that we too will be blessed. Let us pray. God, oh God, we want to declare one day that we will be blessed. God, be with us. Help us to live lives that will be pleasing in your sight. Help us to live lives that will honor you, God. Help us to receive Jesus as our Lord and our Savior. Help us to live totally and truly for him and him only. Help us, God to know that Jesus is the best thing that ever happened for all of us. We thank you, God. We desire to be blessed and know that every blessing comes from you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 service over to the mortician. With the committal, because of the weather, the committal will be done here. The family will still be going to the cemetery, but we want to do the committal here where we have our friends and family and that you're able to support those that have gathered here today.
earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labors, for their deeds follow them. Let us pray once more. Gracious God, we thank you for those we love but see no more. Receive into your arms your servant help, that grant that increasing in knowledge and the love of you, she may go from strength to strength in service to your heavenly kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 And now we will prepare to sing going up yonder as we recess, but I'd also like to give the benediction and the blessing. Now to the one who's able to keep you from falling and make you stand without blemish in the presence of God's glory with rejoicing. To the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, now and forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, Amen. to me. 
and it is marvelous in our eyes. Our emotions run deep, and although we are sorrowful, we remain steadfast in the knowledge that our good and perfect God has received his angel unto himself and welcomed her home into her mansion in glory. She had an amazing Christian life. And not only was she a blessing to those that knew her, she was also blessed. Amen. She was blessed in her living and she's blessed right now, even in death. She will be remembered, remembered for her devotion to her church, for her devotion to her family, for her loving and kind spirit. She'll be remembered for loving her family to life. She'll be remembered for her selfless service and her great enduring faith. Yet in spite of her enduring faith and service, she experienced some of life's sorrows. <clears throat> she experienced some ups and downs, some trials and tribulations, but the wonderful thing is that she never gave up. She never gave in. She never quit in spite of what she went through. And when I think of this, I'm reminded of the vision given to John the Apostle in the book of Revelation, Sister Helen, Miss Helen, reminds me of the saints that John the Revelator wrote about as he was in prison on the Isle of Patmos. Like Miss Helen, many of the saints in Revelations endured much. They suffered hardship. They suffered sickness and pain and distress. They suffered tribulation. Many times they were the target of the enemy's wrath. And yet they remained Faithful. As we look around today, we believers can testify to the fact that sometimes we too receive the enemy's wrath. Sometimes we don't know how long trouble will last. We don't know how long the tears will flow. Many times we don't know exactly when God will step in, but what we can know is that God is so much God yeah. that we can stand on his promises yeah. and know that he will come through. He will see us through. He will make a way. He will open doors. We can stand on the promises of God standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, our Savior. Hallelujah. We can trust God and stand on him like Miss Helen did. Let us look around and see as we stand on these promises that we are blessed. We're blessed when we keep the faith. We're blessed when we go through every trial and tribulation. This is what Sister Helen did, and it's the example that she gave for us. When she lost loved ones, she held on to God. When she suffered sickness and didn't quite understand, she held on to God's unchanging hand. When the road was rough, she held on to God. When she experienced ups and downs, she held on to God. God was her constant. And her faith didn't waver. She knew God could be trusted. And I believe that she lived this life to prepare for her life in glory. She held to the promise conveyed by John the Revelator. For in Revelations 14, 13, again it reads, write this down. Blessed are the dead who die. In the Lord. Sisters and brothers, this word blessed means happy. So in essence, John is saying the truth is, is if we live for God, we can be happy when death comes. I want to say it again. A lot of people don't believe it. Amen. We don't want to say amen. I knew it was going to get quiet. But when we live for the Lord, we're going to be blessed. This notion of being happy when you die is countercultural. A lot of folk ain't ready to die. Think you're going to live forever. I got news for you. You're not. You're going to go the same way Sister Helen does. But only when we live for the Lord will we be blessed. Sisters and brothers, those who die in the Lord don't have to worry anymore. Those who die in the Lord don't have to suffer anymore. When they die in the Lord, they don't have to cry anymore. They have a new walk and have a new talk. And the songwriter said they got a new home. And, and the best thing about it, they get to see Jesus face to face. And I believe they're happy because they know when they sit at his feet, He's going to make everything all right. Think about it. And this only happens when you live for the Lord. 
for this reason today we ought not be sorrowful as been said in the scriptures and, and spoken in the prayer. We not, ought not be sorrowful as those who have no hope concerning this hell and instead we should be glad that the Holy Ghost agrees with God the Father and Jesus the Son. The Spirit says yes that they may rest from their labors and their works Follow them, sisters and brothers. Sister Helen was blessed and she's happy. Even right now, God fulfilled his promise. He promised never to leave nor forsake. He promised to prepare a place. He promised to prepare a mansion. He promised to come back and take us with him. Brothers and sisters, God keeps his promises and he brought them to pass last Thursday evening. That's when Helen entered into the rest of the Lord on June 17, 2021. She took off that which was mortal. Put on immortality. She took off sickness. Put on health. Took off sorrow. Put on joy. Put on victory. Last Thursday, Miss Helen left this world behind and entered into that prepared place. Brothers and sisters, this day, she is blessed and at rest. She's worshiping in the presence of Jesus. She doesn't have to sing that song, Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. She can say it to him at his feet, but that's where she's sitting. She's going where the wicked will cease from troubling, and the weary will be at rest. She's gone where every day will be Sunday. She's gone. And she's blessed. Sisters and brothers, we too can be blessed. But in order to be blessed now, we've got to live and abide in the Lord. We can start today by giving ourselves to God. God can handle anything that we've done. God, the, the songwriter, contemporary songwriter talks about he can reach way down and pick us up no matter where you go, no matter what you've done, no matter what you thought. God wants everything. He wants our heart, our soul, our minds, and our strength. God wants it all. Yeah. And we can give God our all today by loving him with our whole heart. We can move towards being blessed by exchanging our burdens for God's mercy, by exchanging our troubles for God's grace. And I've got good news today. It's a good day to lay aside your burdens. It's a good day to lay aside that weight that so easily besets us. It's a good day to cast your cares on God for he cared for you. It's a good day to do God's will. It's a good day to walk in God's way. It's a good day. Because God is coming back for each and every one of us. The same God that came and took his daughter home yes. is coming back for us. So let us get ready to receive the promises of God so that we will find ourselves blessed as well. Let us follow this saint's example of love and commitment and faith and service. So that at our own journey's end, we can declare that we too will be blessed. Let us pray. God, oh God, we want to declare one day that we will be blessed. God, be with us. Help us to live lives that will be pleasing in your sight. Help us to live lives that will honor you, God. Help us to receive Jesus as our Lord and our Savior. Help us to live totally and truly for him and him only. Help us, God, to know that Jesus is the best thing that ever happened for all of us. We thank you, God. We desire to be blessed and know that every blessing comes from you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 turn the service over to the mortician. With the committal, because of the weather, the committal will be done here. The family will still be going to the cemetery, but we want to do the committal here, where we have our friends and family that you're able to support 
those that have gathered here today. Saints, in the midst of life, we are in death. From whom can we seek help? Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, who raised Christ from the dead, will give life to your mortal bodies also through the spirit that dwells in you. Listen, I will tell you a mystery. We will not all die, but we will all be changed from this perishable body must put on imperishability. And this mortal body must put on immortality. Then the same that is written will be fulfilled. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? But thanks be to God who gives us victory through Jesus the Lord, our Christ. Let us pray. O oh God, you ordered this wonderful world. And you know all things in earth and in heaven. Give us such faith that by day and by night, at all times and all places, we may without fear commit ourselves and those dear to us to your never failing love in this life and in the life to come. Amen. Jesus said, Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it. And those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. And where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Almighty God, into your hands we commend your daughter, Helen Jones. Ensure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. This body we commit to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labors for their deeds follow them. Let us pray once more. Gracious God, we thank you for those we love but see no more. Receive into your arms your servant Helen, that grant that increasing in knowledge and the love of you, she may go from strength to strength in service to your heavenly kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now we will prepare to sing going up yonder as we recess, but I'd also like to give the benediction and the blessing. Now to the one who's able to keep you from falling and make you stand without blemish in the presence of God's glory with rejoicing. To the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, now and forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, Amen. Amen.
Eyes ups and downs. Oh, God's been good to me. And the doubts have been few. Holy Spirit, reign in this place. Yes, 
Have your way, God. Speak through me. God, hide me behind this old rugged cross that I may do your will and do it your way. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Still blessed. Sisters and brothers, saints and friends, as we reflect on the love that has been shown and the words that have been spoken, as we ponder the sentiments offered and the acts of kindness done, we realize that the very presence of the Lord is in this place. Amen. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Our emotions run deep. And although we are sorrowful, we remain steadfast in the knowledge that our good and perfect God has received his angel unto himself and welcomed her home into her mansion in glory. She had an amazing Christian life. And not only was she a blessing to those that knew her, she was also blessed. Amen. She was blessed in her living, and she's blessed right now, mm -hmm. even in death. She will be remembered, remembered for her devotion to her church, for her devotion to her family, for her loving and kind spirit. She'll be remembered for loving her family to life. She'll be remembered for her selfless service and her great enduring faith. Yet in spite of her enduring faith and service, she experienced some of life's sorrows. <clears throat> she experienced some ups and downs, some trials and tribulations, but the wonderful thing is that she never gave up. She never gave in. She never quit in spite of what she went through. And when I think of this, I'm reminded of the vision given to John the Apostle in the book of Revelation, Sister Helen, Miss Helen, reminds me of the saints that John the Revelator wrote about as he was in prison on the Isle of Patmos. Like Miss Helen, many of the saints in Revelations endured much. They suffered hardship. They suffered sickness and pain and distress. They suffered tribulation. Many times they were the target of the enemy's wrath. And yet they remain Faithful. As we look around today, we believers can testify to the fact that sometimes we too receive the enemy's wrath. Sometimes we don't know how long trouble will last. We don't know how long the tears will flow. Many times we don't know exactly when God will step in, but what we can know is that God is so much God yeah. that we can stand on his promises yeah. and know that he will come through. He will see us through. He will make a way. He will open doors. We can stand on the promises of God standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, our Savior. Hallelujah. We can trust God and stand on him like Miss Helen did. Let us look around and see as we stand on these promises that we are blessed. We're blessed when we keep the faith. We're blessed when we go through every trial and tribulation. This is what Sister Helen did, and it's the example that she gave for us. When she lost loved ones, she held on to God. When she suffered sickness and didn't quite understand, she held on to God's unchanging hand. When the road was rough, she held on to God. When she experienced ups and downs, she held on to God. God was her constant, and her faith didn't waver. She knew God could be trusted. And I believe that she lived this life to prepare for her life in glory. She held to the promise conveyed by John the Revelator. For in Revelations 14, 13, again it reads, write this down. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Sisters and brothers, this word blessed means happy. So in essence, John is saying the truth is, is if we live for God, we can be happy when death comes. I want to say it again. A lot of people don't believe it. Amen. We don't want to say amen. I knew it was going to get quiet. But when we live for the Lord, we're going to be blessed. This notion of being happy when you die is countercultural. A lot of folk ain't ready to die. Think you're going to live forever. I got news for you. You're not. You're going to go the same way Sister Helen does. But only when we live for the Lord will we be blessed. 
sisters and brothers, those who die in the Lord don't have to worry anymore. Those who die in the Lord don't have to suffer anymore. When they die in the Lord, they don't have to cry anymore. They have a new walk and have a new talk. And the songwriter said they got a new home. And, and the best thing about it, they get to see Jesus face to face. And I believe they're happy because they know when they sit at his feet, He's going to make everything all right. Think about it. And this only happens when you live for the Lord. For this reason today we ought not be sorrowful as been said in the scriptures and, and spoken in the prayer. We not, ought not be sorrowful as those who have no hope concerning this hell. And instead we should be glad that the Holy Ghost agrees with God the Father and Jesus the Son. The Spirit says yes that they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. Sisters and brothers Sister Helen was blessed and she's happy even right now. God fulfilled his promise. He promised never to leave nor forsake. He promised to prepare a place. He promised to prepare a mansion. He promised to come back and take us with them. Brothers and sisters, God keeps his promises. Yes. And he brought them to pass yes. last Thursday evening. That's when Helen entered into the rest of the Lord. On June 17, yes. 2021, she took off that which was mortal. Yes. Put on immortality. Yes. She took off sickness. Yes. Put on health. Yes. Took off sorrow. Yes. Put on joy. Yes. Put on victory. Last Thursday, Miss Helen left this world behind and entered into that prepared place. Brothers and sisters, this day, she is blessed and at rest. She's worshiping in the presence of Jesus. She doesn't have to sing that song, Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. She can say it to him at his feet, but that's where she's sitting. She's going where the wicked will cease from troubling, and the weary will be at rest. She's gone where every day will be Sunday. She's gone. And she's blessed. Yeah. Sisters and brothers, we too can be blessed. But in order to be blessed now, we've got to live and abide in the Lord. Yeah. We can start today by giving ourselves to God. God can handle anything that we've done. God, the, the songwriter, contemporary songwriter talks about he can reach way down and pick us up no matter where you go, no matter what you've done, no matter what you thought. God wants everything. He wants our heart, our soul, our minds, and our strength. God wants it all. Yeah. And we can give God our all today by loving him with our whole heart. We can move towards being blessed by exchanging our burdens for God's mercy, by exchanging our troubles for God's grace. And I've got good news today. It's a good day to lay aside your burdens. It's a good day to lay aside that weight that so easily besets us. It's a good day to cast your cares on God for he cared for you. It's a good day to do God's will. It's a good day to walk in God's way. It's a good day. Because God is coming back for each and every one of us. The same God that came and took his daughter home yes. is coming back for us. So let us get ready to receive the promises of God so that we will find ourselves blessed as well. Let us follow this saint's example of love and commitment and faith and service. So that at our own journey's end, we can declare that we too will be blessed. Let us pray. God, oh God, we want to declare one day that we will be blessed. God, be with us. Help us to live lives that will be pleasing in your sight. Help us to live lives that will honor you, God. Help us to receive Jesus as our Lord and our Savior. Help us to live totally and truly for him and him only. Help us, God, to know that Jesus is the best thing that ever happened for all of us. We thank you, God. We desire to be blessed and know that every blessing comes from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.
prepared to turn the service over to the mortician. With the committal, because of the weather, the committal will be done here. The family will still be going to the cemetery, but we want to do the committal here where we have our friends and family that you're able to support those that have gathered here today. Be 